Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz. We are back with our streak, uh, trying to continue uh, to ace as many quizzes as we can in which we finish above the Sporkle user average. So for example, if the average score in this quiz is 50%, we have to get 51% of answers correct to continue our streak. Uh, we had a streak of 23 correct uh, or quizzes uh, in a row last time I did this. And we ended up on this one, which is largest US cities in 1990. And I was a bit tired and um, wasn't really thinking straight at that point. So I decided to get a good night's rest. And we're back at it today, uh, trying to beat the average. So this is going to be, I was going to say it's going to be quite long, but actually um, mercifully short compared to the 200 largest cities in the world. So let's jump in. We do not know the average beforehand. And... To be honest, I'm not sure how cities have really uh, uh, fluctuated since 1990. It's been 30 years. I know some of the Midwestern cities and Rust Belt cities have got a little um, little smaller, and some of the cities out west have got quite a bit bigger. Uh, but the best thing for this quiz is just going to be to type as many cities as we can, because that's how we're going to get a good score. Uh, what was happening in 1990 in the US? I guess the Gulf War was happening, the Berlin Wall had come down, George H. W. Bush was the president. Uh, he said he wasn't going to raise taxes, but then he did. Uh, not Minneapolis, this is Michigan, right? Detroit. Okay, uh, Arizona, Phoenix. Texas will be Dallas, or we had Houston and Dallas, so I guess San Antonio. And these are cities, right? Not metro areas, so bear that in mind. Uh, so we had San Diego and San Francisco, so that'd be probably Oakland or San Jose. Excellent. Long Beach will be there as well. Let's get that out of the way. Maryland, Baltimore, Indiana, Indianapolis. Yeah, I guess the, um, I was going to say the 1990 Olympics just happened, but there was no 1990 Olympics because they'd, um, both the Summer and Winter Olympics were in 88 and 92. They didn't change that till 94. Um, what else would have happened? Uh... The 1990 Football World Cup would have happened, although I can't imagine um, the US was super interested in that. Although there would be four years later when uh, football would come home to the US. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of colour while I uh, type uh, as many cities as I can think of. Uh, Columbus, Wisconsin will be uh, Milwaukee, of course. Uh, Nashville and Memphis and Tennessee, Washington DC, uh, MA Boston, Washington will be Seattle, another Texas one like Arlington or El Paso maybe, perfect, uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, I'm trying to think, uh, so the Detroit Pistons would have been um, reigning NBA champions I believe, the bad boy Pistons with Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumas, um, what else would have been happening that would have been of interest to people? Don't know about baseball. I uh, can't really think of football. Hockey would be interesting. They would have been at the end of the Oilers run. Maybe the Penguins were close to winning or have won already. Uh, Portland, Mon Missouri, St. Louis. Probably the average for this one is going to be around um, 70, I would say, would be my guess. Uh, Raleigh, um, Charlotte, but we don't know for sure, so we have to um, keep plugging away and get as many as we can. Because the worst thing would be if we gave up too early and we lost it by one or two points. Uh, New Mexico, it's Albuquerque, right? The one that's hard to spell. Uh, Albuquerque? Or is it just like this without the first? Yes, we got the excellent uh, Philadelphia. Did we have that already? We did, so Pittsburgh, I suppose. Even back in 1990, Pittsburgh was shrinking compared to its uh, previous time, probably as like a top 10, 15 US city. Uh, try some Californian cities. Fresno. I said Long Beach already, right? Sacramento. Riverside. Um, San Bernardino. Okay, I feel okay. We're powering along. We've only missed a couple so far. Uh, Columbus, Cincinnati. Uh, 
as I say that, Cincinnati, uh, Nebraska, so again, Lincoln, not Lincoln, uh, Omaha, another one in Ohio could be Tucson, or Erie, or Akron, nope, another one in New York, that should be Buffalo, which actually used to be in the top like 10 to 15 cities in the US, I think, Kansas, so Topeka, or Tulsa, Tulsa's Oklahoma, um, what's the bigger city in Kansas that isn't Kansas City, um, Oh gosh. Alright, come back to it. Arizona, so Mesa, Chandler, uh, Aurora, Boulder, Colorado Springs, New Jersey could be like Newark. Let's see if Jersey City is in here. Uh, Minnesota, St. Paul, Kentucky, we'll have Louisville, and Lexington, uh, California, Alabama, Montgomery, Birmingham, uh, Virginia, uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, wow, all the way down there, uh, Texas, we hit Arlington, right? Oh gosh, okay, um, we might have Rochester in New York, Syracuse, Albany, Arkansas will be Little Rock. No, uh, Alaska, sorry. Juno. No, not Juno. Uh, Anchorage. You know what I just realized recently? That Anchorage means where you anchor a boat. And Anchorage in Alaska was probably named after that. I've never put two and two together before. It's, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, <laughs> bad on my part. Um, what will these cities in Florida be? Tallahassee? Ooh, it's a bit frustrating. Another one in Louisiana, like Shreveport. Okay, there we go. Another one in Alabama. So we had Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile. Iowa should be Des Moines, right? Uh, another one in Wisconsin could be Madison. Another one in Michigan, so that could be... Oh, is it Grand Rapids? Yep, perfect. Good thing I did this um, U.S. Cities uh, quiz a few weeks back. Oh, New York. Okay. Uh, Yonkers. Perfect. Great. Florida. Uh, it was Miami Gardens, right? That was a place that we learned about. Lakeland <laughs> was a place. But I imagine most of these places are probably um, developed a bit more since, uh, since 1990 when this quiz takes place. Winston-Salem. No. Okay. Ohio. I think we've just about run out of Ohio, California, and Texas cities. Washington, so like Bellevue, uh, Olympia. I'll try Walla Walla, even though it's clearly not. Uh, Vancouver, maybe? Hmm. Indiana, we already had Indianapolis, so like Gary or South Bend. Oh, I'm not loving 80 out of 100 as a score, to be honest. I feel like I can do a bit better. Uh, oh gosh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's still probably going to be above the average, but I feel like I should be doing better here, um, trying some Texas cities, um, Ohio, Dayton, Yes, excellent. What's this one in Kansas? Uh, in Kansas, um, what's the capital of Kansas? Wichita. Yes, great. Uh, okay, so we've got Texas, Ohio, California, California, Virginia, and it wasn't Richmond. We already had Virginia Beach. Let's try uh, Texas, Florida, Florida, Texas. North Carolina, California, Texas, California, Washington, Washington. What are these Washington ones, man? Come on. Um, so we had Seattle, Olympia, Bellevue. Is there one that starts with T? Ugh, it's kind of annoying. Um, Bakersfield, California. Yes, excellent. Um, 
Are there any more like cities in like Los Angeles? Pasadena? No. Okay. I think 83 is probably going to be good enough. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Average score was 62. Nothing to worry about. Fort Worth, Texas, Toledo, Ohio, Santa Ana, California, Anaheim, Norfolk, Corpus Christi, St. Pete, uh, Hialeah, Lubbock, Greensboro, Huntington Beach, Garland, Glendale, Spokane, Tacoma, Fremont, and Fort Wayne. Okay. What? Let's move on to the next one and hope we get a good round. European capital letter pair blackout. Okay, so these ones need some explaining. Can you black out the grid by naming a European capital containing each pair of letters? We can do this. It looks more daunting than it is. We have 2 minute 30. So for example, if we uh, typed in London, uh, this column here would have L and would get uh, would black out the column which had D, uh, the rows which had D, O, N on them. So basically, the hack for this game is it looks more impressive than it actually is. All we're going to do is just type all the capitals of Europe and eventually uh, we will black out the board. London, Dublin, Amsterdam, Brussels, Luxembourg, we'll probably get rid of some of the X's, Paris, Monaco, Andorra, Levea, Madrid, Lisbon, Valletta, Which I need to look, relearn how to spell actually. Nicosia. Uh, Berlin. No, Berlin is no longer a valid answer because we've already taken all the options off the board. Uh, Rome. San Marino. Vatican City will be here though because that B column needs to be um, cleared out. Uh, then we're going to go to Warsaw. Oh. Warsaw. Prague. Bratislava, Budapest, Bucharest, Sofia, uh, we'll go to Ljubljana, that should be there for a few of the J's, Belgrade, Zagreb should clear the Z's, uh, Sarajevo, uh, Skopje, Podgorica, Athens, Ankara, Chisinau, Uh, Minsk, uh, Berlin, Pristina, Vilnius, Riga, Moscow. Done. Another quiz in the books. Let's move on to quiz number three for today. Can you click the flags of the countries beginning with H? We have 30 seconds. We will need to get 100% on this one, so let's not mess it up. Haiti, this one here. Honduras, with the stars shaped like an H. And finally, Hungary. Good. Easy. Yep, the average score was 95. Most people were. They figured that one out. Okay, moving on again. Can you name the landlocked countries of Asia? We have two minutes. There are 12 answers. Like I said in the previous quiz, I'm not going to spend a lot of time thinking about it before I press play. So let's just, just get into it. Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, whoop, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan is doubly landlocked, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, borders the Caspian Sea but nothing else, Armenia, uh, what else is landlocked? Laos is landlocked and there's two others. One with 38 square kilometers, 38,000 square kilometers, and one with a lot more. Nepal and Bhutan. Excellent. We carry on. Can you name the highest mountain on each continent? Okay, sure. Um, I do know this. Uh, spelling is going to be an issue, though. We've got three minutes, so let's jump into it. Denali is North America. Aconcagua. Uh, Aconcagua. Great. Uh... Kilimanjaro. I feel like we're probably going to get eighty percent for this one. Everest, obviously. Um, Vincent, massive. The one in New Guinea is uh, I think it's called Punak Jaya. 
Four. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, the C and the A were on the wrong way. And the Albus. 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 Okay, perfect. We got there. Okay, the average is only 50, so we didn't need, needn't have been worried. Uh, but we move on. Keep going and going and going. Okay, this, this, we need some fun quizzes today, which is good. It's not just name the 200 um, countries of the world in various different configurations. Which I love you, Sporkle, but I don't need those quizzes. <laughs> I don't need them. Um, can you name every country in the world with an A in its name? That kind of stuff. Can you name the two geographical locations that only have one letter different from each other? I like this a lot. We have to get both of them, I believe. Um, you can see I've done 10 out of 10 before. I don't know when I've played it last, but I've probably played 80% of the geography quizzes on the site before. Four minutes. Okay, so capital cities will be Rome and Loam. Country and Angolan province. Okay. Uh, capital city and Polish city. That'll be Dublin and Lublin. Uh, countries will be Iran and Iraq. The good thing here is if we know one of them, we're going to be able to um, brute force the others, which we might have to do with that Mexican uh, or that Angolan province, because I'm not that's okay with my Angolan provinces, unfortunately. Okay, so city in Spain and country where Granada and Granada. Indonesian island and Italian city will be Bali and Bari. Countries will be Iceland and Ireland. What have I done here? How have I messed that up? Huh. Don't understand what the problem is here. Country in Al Algerian city will be Oman and Oran. Capital, country and capital city will be Cuba and Juba. Capital city and country will be Panama and Manama. Okay, um, I don't really understand what I was doing wrong with Iceland and Ireland. Yes, there we go. Maybe I was just typing something wrong. And country and Golan province. So we're going to have the country is Mexico. And let's uh, see what the Angolan province was. Mexico, Mexico. Mexico. It was Moxico. Cool. The average was 84, so we needed to get eight out of uh, nine out of ten to pass there, and, and we did that comfortably. Next quiz. Oh, this is what I was talking about, man. Can you name the world countries that you could walk to from another country, causing these countries to appear? This quiz is basically the countries of the world, not counting islands. Apart from like UK and Ireland and Haiti and Dominican Republic and that sort of thing. Oh, I mean, you guys know I can do this, right? I'm tempted just to skip it, but in the interest of uh, completeness and transparency, let's do it. But I'm not going to make you guys sit through the whole five minutes of this. We're almost done. We have three left. There was a bit of a um, tricky one there with Singapore, <laughs> which is technically an island country, but you can walk to it. Um, but strangely, Bahrain, oh, Bahrain is included as well, yeah, because there's a bridge there. Okay, um, so I basically just did the biggest countries, the countries that um, bordered the most countries and then filled in the gaps, really. Um, so Haiti and Dominican Republic, I forgot them. And then I've just got one left, which just starts with G, uh, Gambia, I guess, right? Because it only bought a Senegal. Okay, perfect. The average was 85. We aced it with a perfect score. Let's move on. Ooh. This could be a bit of a tricky one here. I'm not 100% confident here. So, okay. I have played this one before. Uh... When was, what did I get? 10 out of 16. Okay, so we need to do better than that, I think. Basically, uh, we are getting um, Yemen here, and we have to choose either A, B, or C based on how big Yemen is compared to the scale, which in this case is Greenland. So if we think Yemen is about the same size as Greenland, we're going to click A. If it's about twice the size, B, and if Greenland is bigger. So let's do it. Okay, in this one, I think that uh, Yemen is going to be about a half the size of Greenland, just because 
Denmark, when you include Greenland and its land area, is going to be um, quite a bit bigger than Yemen. So it's perfect. This is not a minefield, so we're fine. Uh, this is Germany versus Tanzania. And Tanzania is quite a bit bigger than Germany. Um, so I'll go C. Brilliant. Uh, Alaska compared to Gabon. So Alaska is massive, obviously. Gabon is about the, I would say, about 80th, 80th in the world in terms of size. Um, it's roughly the same size as New Zealand. So I would say Gabon is probably in the middle, maybe. Yes, perfect. Everyone we get right is a chance to get one more. Okay, so Guinea, or a chance to carry on. Because this one is, uh, yeah, a bit frantic. France. The thing is, I think we'll do better than the average people in their first plays. But some people will just do quizzes over and over again until they um, get everything right. Which boost, uh, pushes the average up. Okay, so France versus Guyana. France is actually surprisingly big. Um, Guyana is pretty small. I think it's B again. Yes, perfect. Canada versus Brazil. So Canada is bigger than Brazil, but not by an order of magnitude of A. Could be, oh, maybe it is. I'm going to go B again. No, it's C. It's annoying. Okay. Ukraine to Burkina, Fa uh, Burkina Faso. It's a tough one. Let's come back to that. Okay. Uh, UK compared to Guyana. They're pretty similar in size. Like the UK is not that much bigger than Guyana. I would be surprised if this wasn't A actually. Yeah, perfect. Cool. It's a good thing I did that at Countries of the World in size order, right? Uh, Rwanda compared to Switzerland. So Switzerland is, I mean, it's not super bigger than Rwanda. I would say they're fairly equivalent. Probably C. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I did a quiz um, a while back where I tried to name all the countries in the world in size order. Uh, Mongolia compared to Mexico. I would go C here. I think they're both in the 10 to 20 range in terms of um, country size, but it wasn't. Okay, Poland compared to New York. Oh, you can B. Damn it, they're pretty similar. Okay, I need to get a bit better now. Spain is in the top third in terms of sizes of countries in the world. Guatemala is one of the biggest in Central America. Could be B. Okay, good. Sweden compared to Vietnam. Again, I feel like they're fairly similar in size. Sweden is about like 60th or 70th in terms of size. Vietnam is not that far off it. The thing is, I don't think it's C. I'll go with A. Yes, we're getting there. We've got 8 out of 16. Okay, New Zealand versus Texas. New Zealand is quite big. Um, B sounds about right. No, it was A. Okay, bigger than I thought. Guinea compared to Turkey. Oh, that one's a bit frustrating. Uh, okay, USA compared to Russia. Call me crazy, but I think this is A. Oh, damn it, it's B. Annoying. Malawi compared to Italy. So Italy is about... Like 65th in the world or something. And Malawi is quite a bit smaller. Can we try A? Oh. Damn it, let's see. This is annoying. Okay. Uh, what have we got left? We've got two more, and we've only got eight out of 16. 50%. It might be enough, or it might not be. Okay. Ukraine to Burkina Faso. Ukraine is definitely bigger than Burkina Faso. I don't think it's by C by that much. B or A is my guess here. I'm going to go with B. Oh, damn it. A. It's annoying. And finally, Guinea to Turkey. Turkey is pretty large. B. C. Oh, we can breathe a sigh of relief there because the average was only 38. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got off to a good start there, which helped, but um, I faded at the end. Okay. Can you name the nice, easy one to chill out now? Two minutes. Can we name just basically the countries that the Nile River goes through? Sure, we can. I'd be disappointed if I couldn't. Egypt. We even have a map as well. Sudan, South Sudan. It's not a minefield, right? DRC, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, and Tanzania. Great, okay. Again, I've lost track of how many I've got right. <laughs> I'm sure those of you uh, watching can, uh, can see because it'll be up here. Um, probably around pushing 30 now, I would say.
Okay, now, we are trying to name the largest 100 cities in China by naming any uh, syllable within them. I do not know 100 cities in China. I don't know 50. I probably struggle to name 20, to be honest. However, there are things we can do to help with this. Syllables can be two letters, which is a vowel and a consonant. So we're just going to spam as many syllables as we can, um, hoping for the best, hoping to just claw our way above the average. So without... Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is working. Um, yes, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're doing this. Uh, okay, let's do the A's. So like B A C A D A E A F G A. L Oh, this might not have been the most crucial. <laughs> but I am just like typing cities and getting uh, getting good results. Uh, let's get Hong Kong out of the way. We'll get uh, Guangzhou. There should be a few Zhao's. Yes, that was that was clutch. That was awesome. Um, uh, Bin, like Bin could be there. Um, oh, Jian, uh, Zhou, Zhu, Jia. Wu, Han, and Dan. We can try another Dan. We, Jin, John, Ju, Ji, Jo, Zhao, Ti, A. I mean, I don't even know Chinese well enough to um be able to like have a guess about uh, what common syllables would be um. I seems like a pretty good guess, right? Like we'll go A B C D E F G H I P L M N O P Q. Okay, that was not as fruitful as I hoped. Um, right, what can we uh pick up from some of uh? What, the ones we already have. Okay, Tan got us a few. Uh, Shan, what about Shan? No. Uh, Chang. Yes, Chang got us a few. That's good. Chong got us a few. Chong well, got us one. Uh, King got us one. Chang. Dao. Quin Huang Dao. Xin Zhao. Zhi. Ben. Zhu. Zhao. Zha. And okay, and got us a few, which was good. Uh, G, uh, Ding, Macau, Bao, Bao. Oh, gosh, uh, G, Z, I got us a few, that's good. Um, Hmm. I feel like there should be enough, right? Wu, wa, one, one. I'm trying to think if there's actually any that I know or lasso, right? Um. I mean, I'm missing some of the big, biggest cities in China. Um. I mean, I should be getting these, right? Uh. Ching, yes, there we go. Ching got us one. Du, Dao, Dao. Uh, so. uh, La, Lu, Li, Lu, Lo, Lao, Liu. Oh. Oh, we got 61. The average was 64. We needed to pull out three more. Well, Shin, Shin was the one we wanted. Shenzhen, Xinyang, Dongguan, Kunming, Taiyun. Oh, damn it. That's an annoying one to go out on, actually. But 
if it's any consolation, I do not feel like I it reflects on my geography um capabilities. I mean, apart from let me just quickly check. Would Shen have got me the win? Shen. No, it wouldn't have. If I typed Shen's in, I only would have got two Shen's. Uh, would Zen have got me the win? Zen may have got me the win. No, it wouldn't have because I already had one of the Zen's. Okay. That makes me feel slightly better. So I think we finished up just over 30. We'll try this again maybe in a few months and see if we can get any better. Uh, by all means, try it yourself. Film yourself. Send a uh, comment below and uh, let me know how you got on. Until next time, I'll see you later. Kakiti Bye.